again that America's leading industry, America's most profitable business is still the manufacture, packaging, distribution and marketing of bullshit. High quality, grade A, prime cut, pure American bullshit. And the sad part is, is that most people seem to have been indoctrinated to believe that bullshit only comes from certain places, certain sources, advertising, politics, salesmen, not true. Bullshit is everywhere. Bullshit is rampant. Parents are full of shit, teachers are full of shit, clergymen are full of shit, and law enforcement people are full of shit. This entire country, this entire country is completely full of shit and always has been, from the Declaration of Independence to the Constitution to the Star Spangled Banner, it's still nothing more than one big steaming pile of red, white, and blue, all-American bullshit. I think Americans really show their ignorance when they say they want their politicians to be honest. What are these fucking cretins talking about? If honesty were suddenly introduced into American life, the whole system would collapse! No one would know what to do. Honesty would fuck this country up. Not too bright, folks. Not too fucking bright. But if you talk to one of them about this, if you isolate one of them, you sit them down rationally, you talk to them about the low IQs and the dumb behavior and the bad decisions, right away they start talking about education. That's the big answer to everything. Education. They say we need more money for education. We need more, more, more books, more teachers, more classrooms, more schools. Uh, we need more testing for the kids. And you say to them, well, you know, we've tried all of that and the kids still can't pass the test. They say, oh, don't you worry about that. We're going to lower the passing grades. And that's what they do in a lot of these schools now they lower the passing grades so more kids can pass more kids pass the school looks good everybody's happy the IQ of the country slips another two or three points and pretty soon all you'll need to get into college is a fucking pencil <laughs> got a pencil get the fuck in there it's physics then everyone wonders why 17 other countries graduate more scientists than we do education politicians know that word they use it on you politicians have traditionally hidden behind three things the flag the bible and children no child left behind no child left behind oh really well it wasn't long ago you were talking about giving kids a head start head start left behind someone's losing fucking ground here but there's a reason, there's a reason. There's a reason for this, there's a reason education sucks, and it's the same reason that it will never, ever, ever be fixed. It's never gonna get any better, don't look for it, be happy with what you got. Because the owners of this country don't want that. I'm talking about the real owners now. The real owners, the big wealthy business interests that control things and make all the important decisions. Forget the politicians. The politicians are put there to give you the idea that you have freedom of choice. You don't. You have no choice. You have owners. They own you. They own everything. They own all the important land. They own and control the corporations. They've long since bought and paid for the Senate, the Congress, the State Houses, the City Halls. They got the judges in their back pockets. And they own all the big media companies, so they control just about all of the news and information you get to hear. They got you by the balls. They, they spend billions of dollars every year lobbying, lobbying to get what they want. Well, we know what they want. They want more for themselves and less for everybody else. But I'll tell you what they don't want. They don't want a population of citizens capable of critical thinking. They don't want well-informed, well-educated people capable of critical thinking. They're not interested in that. That doesn't help them. That's against their interest. That's right. They don't want people who are smart enough to sit around the kitchen table and figure out how badly they're getting fucked by a system that threw them overboard 30 fucking years ago. They don't want that. You know what they want? They want obedient workers. Obedient workers. People who are just smart enough to run the machines and do the paperwork and just dumb enough to passively accept all these increasingly shittier jobs with the lower pay, the longer hours, the reduced benefits, the end of overtime, and the vanishing pension that disappears the minute you go to collect it. And now they're coming for your social security security money. They want your fucking retirement money. They want it back so they can give it to their criminal friends on Wall Street. And you know something? They'll get it. They'll get it all from you sooner or later because they own this fucking place. It's a big club and you ain't in it. You and I are not in the big club.
By the way, it's the same big club they used to beat you over the head with all day long when they tell you what to believe. All day long, beating you over the head in their media, telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. The table is tilted, folks. The game is rigged. And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. Good, honest, hard-working people. White collar, blue collar, doesn't matter what color shirt you have on. Good, honest, hard-working people continue. These are people of modest means. Continue to elect these rich cocksuckers who don't give a fuck about them. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't give a fuck about you. They don't care about you at all. At all. At all. Yeah. You know? And nobody seems to notice. Nobody seems to care. That's what the owners count on. The fact that Americans will probably remain willfully ignorant of the big red, white, and blue dick that's being jammed up their assholes every day. <laughs> Because the owners of this country know the truth. It's called the American dream, because you have to be asleep to believe it. So uh, people at a certain age, I think when they've given up on everything else in life, they get very political. Yeah, that does happen. This it also seems, gives them yeah. meaning. Gives, gives them, them something to do. Well, they, they watch their tribe go to war. That's it's right. It's like, well, people are into football teams. That's right. You know, fucking go Buccaneers. Right, right. right. They it's get all crazy. Excited. They paint their chest. Yes. They go insane. It's their team. And if do their you, team loses, they get devastated. Do you, as a highly productive person, look at people like that and go, they're just lower life forms? Because ah. I'm not even <laughs> nearly as productive as you, and I look at them like that, and I... I do a hundredth of maybe a thousandth of what you do. And I look at them and I go, they're like zombies. Yeah. Their bodies and minds have been taken over. Well, they got, it's a trap. Right. It's like, if you, you ever watch people play three card money in New York? Yes. And you go, oh, you fucking dummy. Like, yes. You're going to get sucked into get, that? Yeah. Like, you'll get sucked into all right. these things. Right. You know, it's what I say about, like, if you get really invested in politics. Like, vo vo voting for president is probably a lot like rooting on pro wrestling. That's right. It might make you feel better, right. but I don't know how much it really affects right. the outcome. Yeah. And they're I, trying to pull that back oh, as much sure. as possible now. I mean, if you look at Biden, who's clearly... You know, this act didn't get passed. Even yeah. the Democrats are going, this guy is out of it. Yeah. Even people that voted for him are going, hey, something's wrong. It, it's clear to see that the, the will of the people gets subverted a lot yes. in, in many different ways. Sure. And the people who end up running the show are not necessarily representative of what the public wants. Yeah. Um, and how do you, I don't know that you fix that. I don't know if you fix that either. So I'm, unfortunately, it's just, a, you end up adopting this kind of cynical position. Right. That you can only really take care of yourself, your family, your community, the people, you can donate money, you can be altruistic in many different ways. But as far as the government, it seems like an unsolvable problem. It's um, it's definitely complex and it's moving in the wrong direction. Right. You know, I've been paying attention to uh, these companies that are buying up affordable housing. Yeah. Have you like been BlackRock and Zillow. Yeah, that's scary. It is scary. That's scary because if they can move the entire country into renting, like that's no, right, nobody can own it. Well, that's like, what they want to do. Right. That's what I'm saying. They if don't want get, anyone to own anything. If you get a, a giant majority of the population that are just renters. They don't ever own property. They never have their own real, real home. Yeah. And then you make sure that you control their wage because you have massive corporations, whether it's Target or right. Amazon or whatever, and they limit the amount of possible growth you have within a company. Yeah. And there was that article, you'll own nothing and be happy yeah, in 2030. Yeah, so that. that is wild. And this is, you know, kind of, you know, when you look at a lot of these think tanks and, you know, groups of very powerful interests, when you look at the kind of world they want, they would like to get rid of things like car ownership. Yes, I've been seeing that too. They want to get rid of home ownership. Yeah. They want people to all be on the grid in a major way. They want surveillance, you know, cradle to grave, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Social credit think, systems. Yeah, and the only thing it's left to do seems to be to to get in with them <laughs> so that when they're doing this to everyone, you're with them. Yeah, you're on the right side of the place. Because glass. here's the problem. People are marching into this yeah. willingly. They're like marching into it. It's like my aunt or the other aunt. Like people, as long as their team wins, they don't really care what rights they lose and what things end up 
looking like. Yeah, they don't. They and turn it up. They're being played. They turn it up. And very few people are autonomous. Right. Very few people have their own, like... Well, we're also a silly country now, so we have... My thing is, like, when you have a country that's this silly, yeah. where comedy specials are people coming out making serious points, you have late-night uh, hosts crying, you have, you know, the girl who threatened her mother on Dr. Phil is a legitimate star, right? Bad baby. Remember right. that woman? Oh, yeah. She threatened to kill her mother on TV. She's a star now. She has massive Instagram following. Massive, massive. Where does this go, right? Pictures of apes are selling for the cost of a Lamborghini. <laughs> Our last president was the guy who hosted The Apprentice, and on his last day of office, a mob of lunatics ran into the Capitol to take selfies with fucking wigs on. <laughs> it looked like a sketch I would do. Like, it really is. We're, we're in like a fucking weird movie. Do you remember when you were a kid yeah. and you would hear about the last days of the Roman Empire? Yes. Where they were just like eating till they couldn't take it anymore <laughs> yeah. and then shoving a feather in their mouth and yes. throwing up and yeah. fucking everybody. Yes. That's us. And it's this when it's playing like it. that it sounds good. It it's doesn't sound party. that bad. But it is it is funny as a comedian when you when you step back and you go like this is really really Crazy stuff. It's crazy stuff, and the problem is I don't see a good ending because if no. we fall in, the, the other problem is we have to compete with China, and right. China has this amazing ability to control their population through propaganda and intimidation and you know total censorship, which we're like moving in that kind of general direction, right. which is really scary because the the one way we may be able to compete with China is to become more like China because otherwise, like they're so. They're so integrated. <clears throat> their um, the government and their business is inexorable. They're connected. You cannot have a corporation where the government's not involved. Right. So the government makes decisions with the corporations that benefit the government and benefit the Chinese Communist Party, benefit the country in right. general. And we're on that path too. Yeah. It with seems military, like it. industrial contractors, yeah. pharma companies that kind of killed the Obama health care bill. They went in and rewrote that, and they mm -hmm. were like, "We don't want this." All their lobbyists had a lot of influence on that. It. I mean, it's strange to to really conceive of it as a reality as opposed to just a joke or a um you know kind of a cynical aside it actually does seem that we're in a stage of decline yeah that's somewhat irreversible yeah and it does it's it, it's it's hard not to be depressed have you what we have to realize is that we're mm. americans you know we're deeply selfish monsters that have been bred to destroy all life on earth we can't we have to not lose sight of that message we're here to fuck things up for everyone else, not each other. And that's what we had in the 80s and the 90s. We had a commitment to apathy while our leaders ran around pillaging the earth. And we made great movies and great art, and it was fine. Yes, people got killed, but people always get killed. But now we're, we're at war with each other. We're, we, we should just be enjoying the spoils of the end of the empire, truly. <laughs> You should be enjoying it. People, so many people got killed, murdered, tortured, maimed for us to have all the nice things we have. Do you know how insane it is to not enjoy it? Do you know how crazy it is to not enjoy a McMansion, a flat screen TV, a McFlurry? You know how much know blood is in the street for those things? And people act like they don't even matter. And they're fighting about all this bullshit. It's crazy. Anyway, that's the truth. That's the real truth. Nobody wants to hear it. But that is the truth. We have a lot of these things are nice, but some of them are ill-gotten gains. Fine, you know, not everybody picking tomatoes is happy about it. But have you ever had a good, like a nice Jersey thick beef steak tomato? It's good. Imagine having one and then fighting with someone about something. It's stupid. If there's a hell world going, and if there's not, we get reincarnated to when we're a Beatles or something. But just enjoy it, and nobody wants to enjoy it, and that's what makes me upset is that we used to have a country built on enjoyment, built on fat, stupid people enjoying the work of a small group of demons, and now we can't even enjoy them. <laughs> can't even have fun. That would be the only way to get us out of this. That's right. If we ever realize that the problems that we have with issues are far smaller than the problems where we, or the, the issues that we agree on. Like, everybody agrees we have to have less crime. Everybody agrees yes. that we have to have uh, more education. Everybody agrees 
that we have to have safer stri- streets and yeah. safer cities. Everybody agrees that. That's right. And the things that we disagree on, it, we, well, people disagree on like how to make those things a reality, though. Yeah. How do you have less crime? Is it by letting well, it's also people out of jail? Us being divided it? helps. It helps people who want to just continually operate in the system as it's constructed. And whether that is the system of perpetual war or the system of the, the banking sector, the dominance of the financial sector, or the system is tech companies set up to have this, these political relationships, how they're presently constituted. People who are thriving in this system and using it to their ends do not want it changed. And people hating each other helps them. All day long, beating you over the head in their media, telling you what to believe, what to think, and what to buy. 